So the, the biggest innovation that is helping our patients at present is 3D printing. That's 3D printing to plan complicated operations, 3D printing to actually make implants that we use in the operation, and also 3D printing that we use to position implants optimally during the operation. In a case where there has been significant bone loss, maybe due to a previous road traffic accident, maybe due to previous surgery, we can use the 3D printing to recreate their scan in real life, in 3D, in front of us, life-size, in our hands. And that helps us understand it. It helps us figure out where to, to position the implants, put the screws, use the saw, use the drill, and it helps us to explain to the patient what we're going to do. Our knowledge of um, muscles around hip replacements has been hugely improved by our research studies on runners undergoing MRI scanning before and after marathon running. And it's told us some really very useful things about how you should treat muscles, how surgery can benefit from the same treatments and, and keep people more active. I like doing things. I like doing a few different things. Uh, most of them are physical activity in, in uh, their nature. When you do surgery, you're basically in, in a small team. And most of what I've done in outdoor pursuits has been in, in small teams. Whether we've been um, skiing as a team through uh, a ski marathon race, or um, kayaking down rivers in, in Africa, South America, Nepal, all, all over the world. We've had a, a team usually of about six of us. We've made films and very similar to, to some of the surgery that I've done, um, which has also included teams of about six. Also made films, also done our homework and our research before we've started the surgery in the same way as our expeditions have.